How's it going guys? Today we're coming at you with something different on the channel. We are actually, in fact, on our way to GameStop right now to try out the HTC Vive. Apparently, the GameStop near us is like one of only 10 in the country to actually have a demo station set up. Um, and the demos are running from like 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day. So we're on our way there right now to try it out. I'm super stoked, I'm super excited, I can't wait. Okay guys, let's just cut to the chase. The HTC Vive is great. My only prior VR experience going into this is the Gear VR. And while that's pretty cool, the Vive is the real deal. Upon putting the Vive on, I did notice a slight screen door effect and a little light bleed around the nose area. But once I actually began making my way through the demos, I was fully immersed. One of the more pivotal moments for me was when I initially put on the headset and the GameStop rep had me reach out to grab the controllers in front of me. I was virtually seeing the controllers in real time where they were in the physical world. It's a simple concept to grasp, but when you actually experience it, it's rather phenomenal. The controllers were my favorite part of the hardware, feeling totally intuitive and tracking my movements in such an organic way that it puts things like Wiimotes to shame. The GameStop rep had me go through three demos, the first of which was called The Blue. This short demo puts you on the deck of a sunken ship allowing you to view ocean life from down below the ocean's surface. This demo was minimal on interaction, only allowing you to walk and look around, but that makes it a great introduction to those new to VR. Not to mention, the view was great. At one point in the demo, I peered over the deck of the ship to gaze into the abyss that is the ocean floor, only to find myself instinctively trying to grab onto the railing on the edge of the ship. It was simple moments like this that brought to my attention just how convincing the experience was and really convinced me that VR is truly a game changer. The next demo was Tilt Brush, a simple to pick up demo which has you drawing in 3D with many different brush types. I'm not much of an artist, but it was still cool to scribble around in a 3D space and literally be able to walk around my creations. The last demo was called Space Pirate Trainer. This was the most active demo out of the bunch. It has you standing on a platform on what appears to be a space station above a familiar looking planet. You're defending yourself from an onslaught of menacing droids. In this demo, your hands are literally the guns and you can reach behind your shoulder to pull out a shield. This game was the one that really drove home just how good the motion controls worked. Blocking and shooting in this demo felt like second nature. Not to mention the fact that you're playing in a fully 3D environment means you can move, duck and contort your body in any which way to physically dodge the incoming lasers. By all means, Space Pirate Trainer was merely another simple demo, but due to the intuitive nature of the controls, it was one of the most engrossing and satisfying gaming experiences I've ever had. In short, this ain't your mama's virtual boy. VR is the real deal. I would recommend it to anyone that can manage to get their hands on one. Personally, I'm waiting out for a true killer app before shelling out that kind of cash on one, but for anyone that doesn't know, I have been waiting for virtual reality to become a reality ever since I was a little boy playing my SNES. It's been a long time coming, but it was worth the wait. That's about it for now, guys. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and let me know what your thoughts slash experiences are with VR down in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.